Can you all see how it's starting to blip, blip, blip? And when we stir, everything moves. Looks like it's pulling away from the sides of the pan. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Take a little bit, just drop it in. Now keep in mind, this is 240 degrees. This needs to be alone for a moment. Reach in. Ooh, come here, baby, I know I put enough in. Don't yell, you're a professional. It's a little, it's a little warm. Come on. Maybe I should have put a little more in. Oh, uh, there you go, yeah. Well, we've got one. This, can you see? See how that adhered? As long as it sticks to the side of the glass, it's cooked enough. If you stick it in, it drops to the bottom, cook it longer, even if it slowly slides. So now, it doesn't go back on the fire for any point. Now is when we can put the flavors in, and you're gonna notice off the fire as we stir, or when we stop stirring, all the pecans go to the top because it's hot. It's gonna get creamy in color. The pecans instead of floating will hold their space when they're stirring in. Pudding gets that little skin, that little wrinkle on the top. When you run your spoon across and you see that little skin forming, now you're turning the spoon out. This is just parchment, baker's paper, sheet pan liner. First time folks make pralines. Oh, they're creamy. My pecans are holding their space. They're ready. No, they're not. This little baby one. We can come back in a couple of years. That'll still be gummy gooey chew. First time folks make pralines, they have two rows that will not set up. The myth is you can't do this on a humid day. Now, come on. That gives us two days out the whole year down here to make camp. All right? Humidity has nothing to do with it. Grandma was lazy. That's all it was. Grandma, can you make pralines? Oh, no, baby. It's too humid. Can we go outside? Oh, no, baby. It's too humid. Grandma, can you kiss Grandpa? Oh, no, baby. It's too humid. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I always say that you have 30 seconds from the kitchen to the table and name the dish however it comes out. You stick your head out of the kitchen, be a minute, and those flames behind you, I'm fine bang it. As soon as these flames go down, I go make it there and finish it. You just change your name. The other thing is you might want to bring a bandana because you don't want the extra salt in the problems. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you use the pecan hands do you want that extra salt. But you see, stirring introduces air, and that's what cools it down to allow the sugar to be crystallized. If we would have put in chocolate or peanut butter, we won't have to stir as much because it'll drop that temperature. By the time you stir that peanut butter in or that chocolate in, it'll set really good. So all we're doing is introducing air, and that's what allows the candy to set up to get hard. And you know, everybody's recipe is different for pralines. Everybody has a total different recipe for it. And that's one of the nice things about our cooking, is that you always do it to your taste. There's no reason why you can't do this with different nuts, all right? A lot of times when I go visit schools, you never know the kids who's allergic to nuts. So I'll cook them without the nuts, and right before I'm ready to spoon them out, throw in a couple handfuls of cereal. Just a couple of quick stirs to get them in, and then get them out. That way they still stay a little crunchy. All right, come on, baby. They want to eat you. These are nice people. And they want to eat you. I don't know if you all can notice how creamy this is getting, but all we're doing is introducing air. And just if you stop stirring for a second, start on one side and just drag your spoon. And what you're looking for over here, you're looking for that little skin, that little wrinkle. Now, I can't see it. Yeah, you're ready. Everybody knows what I'm talking about? Can you can you kind of see that little? <laughs> all right. I was trying to make you all as tall as I am. We're the only two normal sized people in here. Yeah. You know that? And they make all these chairs for everybody else. And we have to live in there. That, yeah, I know. I know. We sit in that. We have to have help up. Our knees are around our ears. I pull from the edge of the pot where they gather. Bottom portion of the spoon. All right? And you just have to work quick. What happens is folks will spoon out a praline. Then they want to play with it three or four minutes trying to get it perfect. Then they stir out the next one and play with it three or four minutes trying to get it perfect. There is no perfect shape or size to a praline. You just have to have answers ready for family and friends. Because they're like, why is that higher than that when oh, I'm doing different countries? <laughs> Mountain ranges vary from state to state. Now I'm doing different cities. I'm doing different ski resorts, and the mountain ranges vary from resort to resort. Why is that left side bigger than the right side? Family portrait. <laughs> Ever since Uncle Earl was in that accident, left side of his head didn't go down like the right side. <laughs> Here's Grandma, Uncle Frank, Cousin Susie. 
Then you gotta put up with the skinny people in the family. I'm on a diet, I can't eat that. Really, what else you gonna lose since you lost your mind? Uh. <laughs> you know how they are. I like when you make them all the same size and make one bigger than normal. Wow, what's that, mine? <laughs> and then there's that day at the doctor, cut back on your sweet teeth, one probably in a day. That translates to make them big. <laughs> because at the checkup, are you eating one probably? Yes, I am. They don't know it's the size of your head. Make it your shoe size. I'd have to do a couple of batches, but that's all right. But you notice I haven't stirred anymore. If you stir too much, they're gonna get hard on you in the pot. Tiny splash of milk, one quick stir will help finish getting them out of the pan. See, we want to make sure we get our pecans mixed in, and it's not so much a stirring as opposed to pushing them down in there. These last are going to be a lot creamier than that first one. I don't know if you all, I think you all can still see this little baby one right up at the top. That little one right there, two years from now, it'll never get hard because we spooned it out before that sugar had a chance to be crystallized. And when that happens, that's not a problem. Butter your fingers, roll them in a ball. <laughs> Run them through powdered sugar or shredded coconut. Have little gooey, chewy praline balls or gooey, chewy praline bites. If you spoon a lot of them up that won't set up, roll them into a log. Toasted coconut, drizzle chocolate over it, freeze it for five minutes. Take it out, slice it, gooey, gooey, chewy praline pecan log. And when everybody's like, wow, make more, you can't. You just spoon your pralines out too soon. Come on, baby. Come on, here's a little spot here. Yeah. <laughs> on the paper, on the paper. <laughs> oh, I see you. I got to open it. Coming in. I think we're going to have triplets right here, but that's all right. This is why you can't double triple a recipe. You can't get it out of the pot in time. At least this recipe. All right? Every batch is a little different, but the way I do them, one batch at a time. And the best way to get the pot clean, scoop of ice cream, or. <laughs> Pot? Oh, this is weak. <laughs> nobody, nobody else move. All right? If anybody reaches in, get them with their foot and swing. <laughs> if you get your head down in there, put that pot right back in the cabinet. They only take five minutes to set. Whole key is when they're spooned out. And, and what happens is, it's the sugar recrystallizing. All right, it's the sugar recrystallizing that makes that candy set up to get hard. So it only takes five minutes to set. Now, the fridge or freezer is not going to stop the sugar from recrystallizing. They're better fresh. Happy birthday, eat it now. I know it's next month, but eat it now because after a week they get grainy. When they get grainy, I put them in a Ziploc bag, crumble them up. Sprinkles on ice cream, pound cake, cheesecake, baked sweet potatoes. Push them open, dollop of butter, crumble pralines. The adult version, follow it up with a little crumple bacon. Okay. Ah! Almost. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> How you making out over there? You doing all right? <laughs> we may have to grow up, but we don't have to get older. You know? I hope you ladies understand that about us, man. You know? You ladies, as you age and get graceful and mature and all that kind of stuff, we men stay little boys. You can dress us up, but we're little boys. So talk to us like two-year-olds. That's what Christina and John does. 